So I don't know about you guys, but I love a trip to TJ Maxx or Ross for some fragrance scores. Now I went and got this bad boy for pretty damn cheap. But what we're here to find out is, how does this smell? Stick around. Hey, what's cracking YouTube? I'm Brandon and this is DaVinci's Alchemist. New viewers and subscribers alike, thank you very much for coming to check out my video. If you are new to this channel, please stick around for the entirety. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, you know the game. And as a bit of a disclaimer, just want everybody to remember that fragrance is subjective. Go get a sample and check it out before you decide to spend your money. This week's review is, of course, on Azaro Chrome. Uh, before I get started, however, I did want to give a brief heads up that I am going to now model my fragrance reviews uh, kind of the same way that I did my spirits reviews. And that is that I am now going to add a rating system. Uh, I will basically put it in these three categories. It's going to be, you know, the scent. Uh, it's going to be the longevity. And it's also going to be the sillage or uh, cloud scent trail, kind of lump it all into one, you know, how others perceive the fragrance. So in a group of reviews that I do called Scents and Stanzas, um, I talk a little bit about synesthesia and how it affects me. Uh, if you want a full description of that, go ahead and check that up in this video. But I will be adding to the rest of my reviews now uh, a little bit of that music tie-in that I get whenever I try or smell or put on a fragrance. So with all of that out of the way, let's get into what I get out of Azaro Chrome. Now, we'll start off with the presentation. Here's the box for the 30 mil one fluid ounce. It's all shiny and metallic, a little bit of blue going on. Check that out. As far as the bottle is concerned, it's an itty bitty bottle, as you can see. There you go. Blue color juice. Sprayer on this one's a little bit weak, to be honest. Not that great. But the nice thing is that it's kind of cheap, so if you need to spray a lot on you with this, then I think that you can. So out of the gate with this, um, I get a blast of kind of a soapy, almost neroli-esque lavender sort of uh, bend. There's definitely some citrus notes. It's almost kind of mandarin-esque for me. Definitely some lime or bergamot. Uh, and it kind of has this little bit of a metallic note, which I think works out pretty great since it's called Azaro Chrome. There is also a little bit of a green leafy kind of element that I'm getting from it. After a bit of time, uh, dry down wise, it uh, for me, I'm getting a little bit of tonka bean sweetness mixed with some kind of woody elements. And the main thing here for me that makes me put this particular fragrance in the not really like column is that there is kind of a sharp note in the dry down and actually in the opening as well. Throughout the life of the fragrance for me, it's kind of like, have you ever gone swimming in like a public pool where there's lots of chlorine and you get out and you get that kind of in the back of your sinuses. That's what I get from this fragrance for me anyway. I'm not sure how that's going to come out for everybody else, but I get a little bit of a synthetic bend to it. Before I give this a rating, I'm going to go ahead and cut to note breakdown and a little bit of a brief description. Chrome by Azaro is a citrus aromatic fragrance for men, eau de toilette, and it was launched in 1996. A current advertisement reads, let yourself be inspired by Azaro Chrome eau de toilette, the fragrance for men that exudes freedom, allowing you to spread your wings and shine. Top notes are rosemary, pineapple, neroli, bergamot, lemon. The middle notes are cyclamen, coriander, jasmine, and oak moss, and in the base we have sandalwood, tonka bean, musk, more oak moss, cedar, Brazilian rosewood, and cardamom. So we're going to cut right into my rating for this fragrance. Now, as I mentioned before, this is not a love for me. Uh, it is, it's really not my favorite. Uh, it's kind of meh. Um, 
it's a little too synthetic-y for my nose anyway. I mean, the schnoz is big and it definitely does not like synthetic shit. Really only because it just makes it feel funky inside. With this new rating system, I am going to start off with a 0.5, which is basically like shit water. And then it's gonna go all the way up to 5.0, which is kind of a Toradorian um, enraptured sort of response, an orgasmic trip, if you will, just from the way that this stuff smells. So that's how it goes, 0.5 to 5.0. Now, this fragrance, eh, I didn't really like it. It's a little too synthetic. I mean, I don't hate it by any means. It's not something that I just want to wash off me instantaneously. It just doesn't really do a lot for me and it's definitely not in my particular wheelhouse at the moment. So that being said, 2.0 on the actual scent itself. Now, the Siage scent cloud or bubble uh, category, I'm gonna put this in about a 2.5. It doesn't do horrible, it does pretty decent. Um, it's, you know, it's out there a bit, at least what I've been able to notice. Now I haven't done extensive testing, but that's what I get. It's, it's not so stuck close to your skin where you gotta stick your nose up to your wrist or your neck or whatever to be able to get a whiff of it, but it doesn't project like a son of a bitch. So 2.5 for that. Now with the longevity, this actually does a little bit better above average. I give this a 3.5 on the longevity. Uh, it definitely, can, you know, put it on, lasts me a full day of work. I'd say anywhere between six to eight hours. Um, honestly, I notice it throughout the day. It's not like it just disappears and I don't have to, you know, pull my shirt up over my nose to smell everything. I do get wafts through most of the day. Again, that's just my experience with it. So as an overall rating for this fragrance, that's gonna be a 2.5 overall. Two for the scent, 2.5 for the projection slash sillage, and 3.5 for the longevity. Like I said, it's leaning a little bit more towards, you know, the office. Definitely nothing out of the ordinary and extremely complex in my opinion. Now, as far as the music that I get on from this, I have had a few good wearings of this fragrance before doing this review. It's not the same song every time, but mainly what I'm getting is the song, I've Been Everywhere, sung by Johnny Cash. I'm sure you're probably pretty familiar with that song. If not, go check it out. You'll understand where my brain's at, maybe. I don't even always understand where my brain's at, so. Mm. It's like roulette. So in summation, Zorro Chrome, eh. Not a love for me. Got it for super cheap. Got it at uh, the TJ Maxx for, I believe it was $11.99 for that one ounce bottle. So thankfully, having spent that money, I don't feel too jilted. Probably not gonna necessarily keep it in my collection, but I may hold on to it for a while to see if my brain changes about it. Who knows? Either way, I don't feel like I blew a shit ton of money for something that uh, I don't necessarily love love. Now, I certainly recommend that if you're interested in Azaro Chrome, do not buy this full retail because you can get it so many places for cheap as hell. Fragrancenet.com, check it out there or go to your TJ Maxx because dude, it's TJ Maxx, Ross, all those places. They seem to have it on the shelves all of the time. There you go. Subscribe, like, Comment down below, you guys. Let me know if, uh, if you've had a Zara Chrome and let, tell me what you think. Tell everybody else what you think. Don't forget to let your friends know about Da Vinci's Alchemist. Don't forget to tell your friends' friends and their friends' sisters to come check out my channel. Appreciate you guys so very much. Hope you're having a great week. And no matter what it is that you're doing, don't forget, keep calm, stink pretty. See you next time.